I'm Stella and I am royally fed up with my hair color. It has been exactly two months since I last dyed it and that was dyeing it black on top and blue on the bottom. Clearly it's faded just a bit. Oh, if you know anything about hair, you'll know that black and blue are two of the most stubborn colors you can have in your hair. I just happen to have them both in my hair. And they, um, yeah, they don't exactly fade. If you've been on my channel before, you know that one of my favorite hair removal uh, tricks to do to remove hair dye um, in a non-damaging kind of way is using anti-dandruff and vitamin C mixture. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll know that the, the, the process generally consists of crushing up vitamin C pills, then you mix it with um, about a one to one kind of a ratio with anti-dandruff shampoo. I'm using head and shoulders. I also just bought this today. So everything is freshly bought specifically for this video. Um, so basically the vitamin C makes the hair cuticle swell up and basically open up. And therefore it is easier to extract the hair dye, hair color, hair pigment from the hair. And this is where the anti-dandruff shampoo comes in. If you know anything, you should know that anti-dandruff shampoo makes hair color fade. So it is a very, very useful thing to use for me or for you if you're doing the same thing as I am in order to extract hair color from your hair. So mix these two together and ba bam you got a natural hair color remover. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go in with a hair color eraser. It's a chemical, but it's it's also not a damaging chemical, hopefully. Cool, and then when that, when I do that, probably there still be some pigment left in my hair and that is where the bleach comes in. You know, it's, it's kind of inevitable if you want to go from black to platinum blonde. If you are going to try this and if you are going to give bleaching a go, please, please remember to use Olaplex or any sort of a treatment that you add to the bleach to make it less damaging. The only problem is I'm not gonna use that today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have questions regardless, please leave them down in the comments below. I reply to every single one and I hope you uh, enjoy watching me play with my hair because I guarantee you it's a very, very fun process. No, that was actually not sarcastic. I love playing with my hair. Cool. Okay, let's begin. thing on my hair for roughly two and a half hours or maybe it's even three I'm gonna go and wash this out and condition it and whatnot and then we'll see from there all right so it is now the next day and I have just uh, removed the vitamin C last night and washed my hair and dried it and then I just braided it and this is what it looks like I know that it doesn't look like it did much but it definitely removed some of the colors and so now my hair has no a very very little blue pigment and now my hair is mostly just a greenish grayish at the bottom so now it's time to focus on the second part of the process which is the chemical hair eraser process basically what this is it's a hair chemical you put on your hair and it breaks up the hair or the, the pigment particles and therefore just kind of removes them from the hair so this is just the one that I picked up it is by Aquinage and you can search it up on eBay which is where I wanted to buy it originally so I know that you could buy it off of there but then I realized that my salon stocks it stocks the same thing so I got it from my salon how this works generally is you get 
three little tubs. You get part one, part two, and part three. Basically, the first step is to mix equal ratios of part one, part one, <laughs> with part two in a container, and this is what actually. Uh, removes the dye and then the final process after you leave it on for roughly I think 20 minutes it says you could leave it up for around 20 minutes um, then you go in with part three which you have to mix with water and developer everything is on the instruction leaflet thing inside so yeah I'm hoping it could remove and lighten some of the black I'm keeping in mind that it's not for, it's for sure not going to lift all of the pigments in my hair which is why my last option is gonna be bleach. But for now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna apply this equally all over my freshly washed hair. And hope for the best day. Cool, let's go. just finished applying all of the product to my hair and now the directions say they leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes for light colors or 15 and over for darker. I could already see it doing something like over here this bit is growing blonde so that makes me really hopeful. Fingers crossed. I am still pretty sure that I'm not gonna get all of the color out. In fact I don't know how much the black is gonna go but I'm willing to bleach it. Probably not the best thing to do but I'm willing to do it. I'm gonna leave it on for, I don't know, this isn't a damaging product so it says you could leave it on for as long as you want really until you feel like you're comfortable with the result that you have. So that's what I'm gonna do. You can also apply gentle heat which I'm also going to do. I'll be back to show you how it looks when I wash it out. Okay, so me being me, I accidentally deleted my bleaching footage, so now I don't have anything to show you with regards to how I applied bleach to my hair because the color eraser took out some of the color from my hair but not all and hence I required bleach to get to this level of hair. But here's basically the gist of it. I took my regular hair bleach and I mixed it with 30 volume developer in a ratio of 1 is to 2. Hence I mixed 3 scoops of bleach with 6 scoops of developer. I mixed it together and then I basically applied it to the ends of my hair. So once I saw that everything was covered and everything was well coated, I then left it on for half an hour. I didn't specifically intend to leave it on for 30 minutes, but after 30 minutes I saw that most of the color was just white and there was none of that minty um, residue left, and none of that blue tones. So then I just rinsed it out, I conditioned it really well since bleach is damaging. And then I kind of just styled it. With regards to damage, the bleach did damage the hair. I mean, you can't, you can't avoid it. It's bleach. It's literally you're breaking apart your hair in order to extract color. But it's not as bad as I imagined since I can technically still run my hands through it, which is an accomplishment with regards to bleach and bleached hair. Cool. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I do this kind of these kinds of videos quite often because I have no care for my hair actually. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will always answer. Yay. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.